The vertical space below outdoor advertisements is getting a green makeover in the UK. These living walls are a collaborative initiative called Vertical Meadows. The aim is to counter biodiversity loss and help bring nature's buzz back to urban areas. The plants selected for the vertical meadows were thoughtfully curated, having been identified by nature groups, the Wildlife Trust, and Bug Life. The wall includes 25 types of native wildflowers and grasses. They're meant to attract unique visitors, says Vertical Meadow founder Alistair Law. The species we're seeing is, is, is really interesting because no other living wall provider is, is focusing on such a, a natural kind of biodiversity rich approach, um, which really is embedded in the use of, of wildflower meadows. Actually, earlier on, I got really excited. We had a, a hummingbird hawk's moth on our wall, which is this incredible moth, which looks like a hummingbird. And it's the first time I've seen it this season. And it it, it um, lays eggs on the ladies' bed straw, which are in our mix, which is another one of those historic wildflower species. The UK has lost over 97% of its wildflower meadows since the 1930s, according to the government's Natural Environment Advisor. The World Wide Fund for Nature says a single summer day can see almost one acre of wildflower meadow hosting three million flowers, producing enough nectar sugar to support nearly 96,000 honeybees. Law says this means a vertical meadow of about 100 square feet could support 200 bees per day in the height of summer. Beyond supporting wildlife, the living walls have numerous other benefits. They can help trap pollutants, reduce urban heat, mitigate rainwater runoff, and offer acoustic insulation. They also provide an aesthetic bump, bringing natural beauty to urban environments. Vertical Meadow was developed in collaboration with outdoor advertising business Clear Channel. The initial plan is to create 30 living walls in cities across the UK. Here's founder Alistair Law again. It's really exciting just to see kind of this life return. And, um, and, and we think it also talks about the seasonality of nature. And that, that's what's again special. We're not, we don't have evergreen walls. We have walls which change with time so people can get excited when spring arrives and then it will get cut back as you typically done on meadows.